Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a uh, traditional video, and that is the gaming review for the Galaxy S4. So the Galaxy S4 is one of the, uh, has one of the best graphics cards out on the market, and today we're going to see uh, how it does against these current games, um, and we're also going to see about um, how it does, I'm trying to do it with the higher end games, so let's check it out. So these are the four games going to be doing, uh, you know, starting from casual game with good graphics or, and then a uh, more heavily intensive game, but not the best graphics. And then, you know, better graphics and then uh, one of the best graphics. So these are the ones we'll be testing out. Uh, let's see how they play. Let's start off with uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2. Sega! So let's see that. And, um, actually let me put it up to full brightness for you guys, yeah, okay. So, one thing, I mean, when you play these games on the screen, it just really is visually a uh, very nice feel to it. I'll turn the volume a bit down. But, um, you can definitely see, I mean, the screen just makes it just freaking awesome uh, to play any of these games. Um, and let's try it out. And I have it on adaptive screen, by the way, now too, because they have uh, four different screen types. I just put it on adaptive. It's supposed to be the best for your eyes, um, and it does pretty well. So um, this, if the colors or anything like that changes at any point. I run out of breath. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. I just realized you guys might not be getting the full visual of it. Okay. Now I'm all star-like. Yes. I hate water levels. Oh shit. Where's my bubble? Nope. Okay, cool. Sorry guys, I'm trying to tilt this up as much as I can for you guys. But while still playing... But what did I hit? Can I get out of the water now? Thank you. Fucking water levels. You know if you're a gamer if you hate water levels. Water is the devil. God damn it. Sonic, you need to be able to work with a controller. You're not as good with that one. Wait, what? Okay. That's enough of Sonic. What? Okay. That's enough of Sonic, so just so you can visually see it. It's pretty nice, very detailed, and uh, just pretty great graphics. Hoping this is transitioning the color for you guys, though, also. It seems a bit off from what I'm seeing on the screen. And let's just close Sonic down. I'm just going to be clearing the RAM off of each of these just to, uh, you know, uh, better uh, that we don't have any kind of lag or anything like that and all that kind of stuff. Alright, now for Grand Theft Auto, I'm going to be doing something that, of course, a couple of you guys know that I always do. And that is Grand Theft Auto allows for gaming input. So I'm going to connect a PS3 controller. This is a non-rooted Galaxy S4. All you need is this little uh, $20 to $15 adapter from Samsung's website. And I do have a video on that, so check it out if you have not yet. And now I'm just going to plug it in. And it's going to work natively. 
And then we'll be able to play Grand Theft Auto Vice City. And let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys now that I can have a flat, which is a lot easier and just so much better. And I'm just going to skip ahead. So yeah, I love this about Grand Theft Auto, you know, you can completely control it uh, with your PS3 controller, uh, no problem. And I know you guys are going to ask me this, um, you know, can you control it with an Xbox controller or a Wii controller? Uh, no, those two do need rooting. Um, as far as I know, there's no way to do it without rooting. Whereas on the, um, P on the PS3 controller, if, as long as you can plug it in directly, you're fine. Alright, just loading. Okay, I just want to turn up a little bit. I have no idea what I was supposed to be doing, guys, so we will see. I can remember. I just thought you guys are tired of seeing the scenes, the usual ones. So, I'm hoping my camcorder is getting this because it does look a little bit better on the screen than it does on here. Right. Fortunately, I'm noticing they changed the scheme. Busted? What? Oh. oh. Okay. What the hell? I was just minding my own business and cops arrested me. What the hell, guys? What the hell? Get up. Oops. That's supposed to be going this way, or that's supposed to be going. Very fluid. Holy shit. A little bit too fluid. A little bit too sensitive. Can I run him off? Oh, wait. Is he something? Let's see. Let's go to the tools place. How much money do I have? Ah, oh, damn it. Hey man, you want some trouble? You want some real piece of cool and asshole? My car's still over there, without any cops. Can't believe they just arrested me. On my own business. Just get in the car that I had stolen like an hour ago, and then they were trying to... I miss Legos Grand Theft Auto. It was more fun. Alright. Ooh! Wow! Guys, I promise you, I drive better than this in real life. Totally drive better than this. Auto. Obviously, it's playing fine, playing smooth, but my driving ability is, I wouldn't say questionable. Okay, maybe questionable. But you know. Oh shit. Damn, it's cops. I just got out of the joint. I'm not trying to go back. So yeah, plays uh, pretty smooth. No real problems playing it. And the controllers are pretty good. All the animation, I mean, hasn't lagged at all. Just jump out, show you guys. I want to hit somebody. There you go. Okay. Come back here. I want to hit you. Damn. Okay. Wait, I think I can catch up. Oh, okay. No, I can't catch up to that. Wait, can I run faster? Oh, yeah, I can. 
Come over. Hey. Mm. Yeah. Try to fight him. Damn it. Okay. Okay, I do not condone this, guys. You happy now? There. Just knocking out people. Ooh, I get cash. Okay, so that's what Grand Theft Auto is really about, just hitting people and, you know, taking their money. Oh! What the hell? Remember, I do not condone this, guys. You should not do this. You should not beat up people and take their money. Unless it's from behind. Giggity. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. It's cop. I'm gonna mess him up. Who is it? And that's how you play for Isn't that how everyone plays? Give me that. And as you can see, it transitions very easily. Alright, guys. So that was Grand Theft Auto. Let's go ahead and quit that. And let's play two of the other games. Didn't get caught up in Grand Theft Auto a little bit too much. And now, this game. Now, I don't believe either of these other games, uh, unfortunately, uses a PS3 controller. Um, all the game has to do is allow input. And for some reason, a lot of these games out there don't allow input. Games out there change. Because, yeah, that's the future. Clean this off a little bit. So now it's a little bit nicer. And let's continue where I was in the game. Now I will check if it does input, but I don't believe this game does. Um, it's a pretty nice looking game. It's a newer game um, called Shadows or Raven Lands or Raven, uh, Raven Sword Shadows Lands. But a pretty nice visual game, uh, and does has done pretty well. So I, I like visually appealing. And just let me make sure. Nope, we do not have any inputs. All right, unconnect the PS3 controller. And basically move around. I can grab a bunch of these gauntlets if I remember correctly. Take these around, pull out my sword, ready to attack. But you can see very fluid, guard. Jump. Still towards the beginning of it. You can see the map on it. I don't know if I can just tap the map. No, that would be too easy. You can also see first person view. You rather have first person compared to third person. But very fluid. No real kind of lagging or stuttering or anything like that. I like third person better, so I'll switch back to that. Can I just kill a chicken? I'm gonna kill a chicken. Come here, chicken. Yes, yes, the chicken has a health. Yeah, you saw that. I killed that chicken. Can I eat it? Now it gave me meat, chicken meat. Peta, please don't come after me. But yes, how do I pick up? Oh, take, take all. I shall take this chicken. Peta, I love animals, really do. Never kill a live chicken, only animated ones. Just saying, just saying. I'm so gonna get flagged, aren't I? Uh, just to uh, show you guys some of the visuals and the talking and all that. Pretty clean looking. I think this game like did so well on the uh, land, but the people themselves do not look that nice. Just trying to walk around. But you can see, I mean, in terms of like fluid, breaks from these barrels. Pretty 
really no problem whatsoever on um, how fluid the game is. Take all. You can see it, it runs really smooth. I mean, just no. And I have the um, dot on there so you guys can see when I'm touching and where, just to show off like, how accurate it is. I'm just trying to leave the city, see if I can find a fight real quick. If not, I'm supposed to be exploring the whole city and talking to people, I'm sure. But, just trying to show you guys the game itself and then we'll jump in right into the last game which is modern combat so just kind of wanted to give you kind of like a three uh different kind of games um all the grand theft auto on this one are both third person this one can also be first person so it's a little bit different i saw a little lag there for a second Well, it doesn't look like I can fight anyone soon. It's an RPG, so I probably have to talk to a whole bunch of people to find out my quest and then, you know, do all that fun stuff. But yeah, uh, pretty responsive, very fluid, uh, good visuals. You see into the detail. Go to some flowers, stop and smell the flowers. Well, the flowers aren't too visually impressive, but let's see about this tree. That tree is a lot more visually impressive. Well, more compared to the flowers. Yep, but showing you how that game goes. And let's see if we can exit this. memory and now let's go to modern combat 4 I will try the ps3 controller again and no I know as the previous ones did not work for it we shall see if this one does all right and again, just clean that a little bit So to see, you know, with the new game pads coming out, like if more of these games get uh, support. All right, because this one does not seem like it does still, which is a shame because obviously a shooter game, first person shooter game should have a controller, but yeah, didn't think it still did. Okay. Let's go into campaign mode, and I shall continue from where I was, which I have no idea where it is. I shall see. And FYI, just as a disclaimer, I am looking at my camcorder screen so that I can get best give you the visual, but obviously if I get shot, you know, that's my disclaimer. I think I was here. What the heck? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, damn it. How are you doing? Okay, okay. I swear I've actually gone through a lot of this game, so yeah. Glad I gave that disclaimer a second ago. Okay, fine, I'll get behind the damn tank, you bastard. Uh. 
Sorry, guys. Trying to give you the best visual while not dying. Zoom out a little bit. That way I won't die, and you guys get a good visual. Ah. Grenade. Haha. <laughs> no, that wasn't necessary, but I needed to be done. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Again, guys, I cannot stress how difficult this is. <laughs> but as you can see, I mean, the visuals are freaking amazing. I mean, hopefully you guys can see that. Actually, I'm going to turn this light off to see if you guys can see the screen a little bit better. The visuals are really amazing. Uh, really nice details. Yeah, I'm supposed to follow. I just kind of ran over there while I was showing you guys that. So, I'm going to go follow him. Okay, now you'll see a cutscene now. It's loading. I'll show you guys hopefully the whole screen. Uh oh. Sir, Delta team's pinned, but the area ahead is swarming with hostiles. Blake, use the remote to deploy the drone. Secure this area so we can advance. As you can see, no lag whatsoever, really great visuals, um, and it does them to full ability. So yeah, that was the gaming review, guys, for the S4. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, really good uh, visuals, and uh, really great for gaming. If you want a gaming phone, this is the best one. Now, this was the US version, so it had the Qualcomm 1.9 uh, processor with the Adreno... Um, 320 graphics card so this should be the better one for gaming compared to the s4 octa-core version uh, which is better for battery life but isn't as good um, in terms of uh, speed performance as well as uh, definitely when it comes to graphics uh, this one's going to be the better one all right guys hope you enjoyed this this was rcky the android guy